All right, hello everybody. We are here at the Town Place Suites, Seattle South Renton. And we are gonna be taking a tour of room 321. So we'll start by letting the door close and take a look at our security features here in the front of the room. We have a deadbolt, latch lock, clearly readable fire map, and a peephole. So we're well taken care of in the security department. Looking at the fire map, you can see the layout of this four-story building is very simple. There's rooms on both sides, elevator down here, two staircases for easy access in and out. And like I said, we are on the third of four floors. And there's actually a second building just like this on the other side of the parking lot. Uh, that's where the lobby and most of the other facilities are held. So we're sort of in like the, the satellite building here. But it's a very convenient short walk just across the parking lot. In Seattle's kind of mild climate, so no big issues there. So I'll go ahead and take a step back and give you a better look at this entranceway into the room. Very nice and well lit, everything is well kept. Really no cleanliness issues here whatsoever. Noticing a very consistent theme with Marriott there. Anyway, we'll take a quick look in this closet area here, which is one of the most functional closets I think I've ever seen in any hotel, especially a closet of this size. And you can see this was something that was designed, I guess, by the container store. They have some kind of partnership going there. So the shelving is all really nice. I was able to stick all the linens for the pull-out sofa way up there so they're out of the way. There's tons of space to organize all your clothes. I love this trend I'm seeing with Marriott providing a laundry basket uh, in their extended stay properties. It makes it a lot easier to keep your dirty clothes in one place and not having to use your bag to hold your dirty laundry and get it to and from the laundry room. So well done there also. There's two different places where you can hang up some shirts. Uh, overall, just a fantastic closet all around. And you can see we have the iron and ironing board over here on this wall. Very well done. So we'll go ahead and close that up and turn our attention the other way to the bathroom. So uh, supposedly this property was recently renovated and this bathroom kind of shows it. Got a very nice laminate floor, uh, floor to ceiling mirror on this side. Sink area over here, uh, it's certainly enough room for one person on top, and then you have the bonus of three drawers for personal storage over here, and they put some of their items in this cabinet down on the bottom. You see you have a hair dryer, there's a little shower mat back there, extra toilet paper, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, very nice little sink, very well lit, nice big mirror. Hello. We we'll take a look around the rest of the bathroom here. Uh, you have what appears to be a fairly new toilet. The only reason I feel the need to point it out, uh, it has this kind of interesting, like, eco-friendly half flush or full flush option up on top. Kind of neat. Uh, the shower here in the back is very nice. It's one of these, you know, shower tub combos. Uh, you can see, of course, perfectly clean. No issues there. You have a nice curved shower rod. The shower curtain and liner are in perfect condition. Uh, the water pressure is great, so really no complaints at all, just a uh, fantastic shower. And all the linens are in very nice shape, no issues getting them replenished every day. Just well done all around. One interesting thing though is that the door actually closes by itself. I don't know if it has a closer on it or if it's just slant, no but it actually does have a closer on it there. Not sure why, kind of an interesting little feature though. Anyway, turning our attention to the rest of the room here. Uh, this has a bigger kitchen than I'm used to seeing at an extended stay hotel. Mostly in that it has an actual, even though it's small, it's an actual four burner, you know, electric stove with an oven. So this really is, you know, a fully functional kitchen. And of course you have a little hood fan up here with a light. This looks like a pretty recent addition, probably something they put in with the renovation. Uh, nice kitchen sink over here, complete with a garbage disposal, a very noisy garbage disposal. Uh, up here you have the microwave, and I guess I kind of lied before when I said zero cleanliness issues. One thing I did notice is that there's a little bit of food speckled down here on the bottom. Nothing crazy, but it was something that was overlooked by housekeeping. But if that's the only issue we have, we're obviously doing very well. Uh, you have a coffee maker here, which is only missing a pop because I used it this morning, so it's actually in this very generously sized dishwasher. Which works very nicely. 
And over here you do have a uh, full-size refrigerator. You know, the freezer and refrigerator down on bottom. No automatic ice maker, but uh, they do give you a little ice tray up on top. Toaster back there. Uh, garbage down there. And you can see like some of the utensils that you have in here. You have the uh, pots and pans in this cabinet. Silverware up on top, as well as some assorted cooking utensils here. Uh, and in this cabinet you have the glassware, good chunk of which is in the dishwasher at the moment. Uh, plates, looks like a colander up there. I think this is just the thing for the, yeah, just for the vent fan there, but they cover it up with a, a set of cabinet doors. But yeah, overall, very nice functional kitchen. Definitely one of the better ones I've seen at an extended stay hotel. And kind of an interesting layout here, too. So yeah, the kitchen there, and then the, uh, the bed and couch over here in the back. And you can see, you know, like always, they sort of struggle in these extended stay hotels to figure out how can you set up a TV so you can see it from both the sofa and the bed. Here you just have a TV that rotates either way like this. Certainly quite functional, um, no issues whatsoever with that setup for me personally. Um, you have your queen size bed over here which is extremely comfortable and as you probably know I'm a big fan of Marriott's bed linens that they use at these properties. You have your top sheet, uh, sort of like an extra warm, much thicker than the one I just had in California, no surprise, but a very nice thick down comforter, it kept me nice and warm last night. Uh, the sheets are super soft and very comfortable. Uh, four fantastic pillows. I mean, overall, just um, A-plus bed. Very nice, comfortable mattress. Um, these sheets haven't been changed in a couple days because I've been staying here for a few days. But, I mean, obviously the bed was perfectly clean when I first got the room. So, that's about it. Uh, they do have one random throw pillow that I just kind of left over here on the side. But yeah, overall, very, very solid. And then lastly, over here, you have the desk and sitting area. Uh, the sitting area is a, a little bit awkward, just the way the sofa is designed. I mean, I guess the idea of having this random thing attached up here is that you can lean against this, uh, this funny little pillow, put your head on there, and kind of stretch your feet out on the side. The awkward thing is, if you want to sit using this little ottoman, I'll kind of demonstrate this, and put your feet up. So when you get comfortable on the sofa, you got this big thing between you and the table over here on the side. So if you want to, like, you know, put a drink down or something, you have to reach way over this thing to grab it every single time. Not a huge deal, but it's a little bit awkward. Um, one way you can combat that, if you choose to use this thing and lay out this way, is on the ottoman they actually provide this little curved wooden thing that you can put on here to turn it into a coffee table, basically. So, very interesting furniture. I can't really decide if I like this setup or not. And like I mentioned, you know, with the linens in the closet, this is a pull-out sofa. And then you have this, again, rather interesting desk setup over here. Nice, comfortable swivel chair and nice area to work with easily accessible power outlets, four of them. Uh, the strange thing is you have this random table that you can just kind of wheel out and put wherever. I don't know if this is the substitute for not having a dedicated dining table, maybe? And you can easily store it under here? I really don't know what exactly they were getting at with that. But it's a very comfortable place to work. Um, lots of storage here up on top. More storage over here that I'm not even using. It's funny, when you first walk in, it doesn't look like this room has a lot of storage. When you start digging around, there's a ton of it everywhere. But yeah, overall... Oh, there's actually, I lied, there's five power sockets here. There's another one on the lamp, plus a USB port. And if I failed to mention it, next to the bed, they do have these, uh, like, standard Marriott lamps with a USB charging port and a power outlet on both sides. So, I love the abundance of outlets. Very well done there, as well. Um... Last but not least, we do have just like your typical hotel PTAC, you know, heating and cooling unit over there. But it's connected to a thermostat on this wall over here. So they try to give you like that feel of central air, central heating without actually having it. But this unit's very quiet. It's actually like it's just the perfect, you know, amount of noise because you do have a constant fan option over there. 
So it's like the perfect amount of white noise to make it easier to sleep at night without being oppressively loud. It's a uh, Frederick unit. You can see this is disabled. Uh, real quick, the view is really nothing exciting. We're just looking at the Spring Hill Suites next door. And the sun is pretty intense, so it's kind of hard to see anything out there. But like I said, you're not really missing a whole lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the room. Overall, super solid place. The staff here is phenomenal, too. Like, my check-in last night, or a couple nights ago, rather, was uh, really professional, really well done. It's hard to say enough good things about this place. So, overall, highly recommended. Really hope you enjoyed this review, and that is it. Alright, just a little bonus footage for you guys. Uh, I just knocked this bag of linens out of the closet for the pull-out sofa, and when I picked it up, I noticed what a horror show this is. I mean, look at all the hair on that blanket in there. You see that through the plastic? Like a huge one here, another huge one here, more down here, there's more over here. I hope this is coming out on video. I mean, wow. This is disgusting. Look at this. This is unbelievable. It's everywhere in there. How many times have they just taken this thing back off the pull-out sofa and thrown it back in the bag? That is disgusting. Oh, there's more down here. It's everywhere. All right. I take back what I said about the uh, almost perfect cleanliness record here. Yikes.